if your bread withstands brutal force, you did something wrong. Trust me. And if more force doesn't break the bread, but it breaks the cutting board, then you seriously did something wrong. So let me show you what I did. Maybe you, or hopefully I at least, learn from my mistakes. I used 250 grams sourdough starter. It's the same starter I used the last dozen times where I had more or less good results. Then I added 250 milliliter of warm water, mixed everything up, and at the end I even added uh, 10 grams of yeast to make it a bit extra fluffy and soft. Then I added 500 grams of rye flour and mixed and kneaded everything together. Problem number one, as so often, I forgot to add salt. As I was kneading, I realized that dough is way too dry. So I added more water and kept kneading. Which might also be a problem because I heard if you knead it too much, it becomes too slimy and the bread doesn't become good. For that reason, I stopped adding water. But I think the next problem is that dough was way too hard and too dry. Then I covered it up and put it on a warm place for three hours or three plus hours. Three hours later, I opened the dough. I should have stopped here because it did not rise a little bit. It should have risen at least 70% or so. Then I covered it with <coughs> flour and tried to knead that thing a little bit. But it's a pain in the neck to knead dry dough. Then I put it in the basket, close it up and let it sit for another hour. An hour later, the gaps opened a little bit, so I was hopeful and kept going. I flipped the bread onto a baking sheet, added some fancy cuts because I wanted it to look nice. Added some water into the preheated oven. The oven was at 250 Celsius. And put the bread in. With the time-lapse camera, you can see that the only thing that rose was the baking sheet, not the bread. I first tried to take the bread out after one hour. But it didn't sound right, so I kept it in for another half hour. What you see here is the knock test after one and a half hour in the oven. I also tested with one of these wooden chopsticks to see if everything keeps sticking at it. But it was good now. After one hour I still had some dough residue on, on my wooden stick. I let the bread rest overnight and what you see is the cut the next morning. It looked like concrete. It felt like concrete. I think it was concrete, just not as fragile. 
But quite honestly, I think the biggest problem was none of all that I explained here. The biggest problem was my sourdough starter. It turns sour. It smelled a little bit like gasoline or glue. I since then created a new sourdough starter from scratch and baked another bread and it was actually good again.